Um, the first video uh, I would like to present, um, and not as a moderator of the Triton Arm Conference, uh, I'm working with Covina together in a company, Virtual Things, we are called. Last year we had the nice opportunity um, to work uh, with a vibrant community of artists uh, and music musicians. These are uh, persons, um, they are um, grouping their uh, ownership rights to, the, to their music uh, together in uh, big societies and um, they, th these societies always um, claim money from persons who uh, play the music uh, in, uh, in, in, uh, when, when, when it's uh, played on a party, when it's played in a concert, then they have to pay for the music because uh, the money goes back to the, to the artists. artists. Um, there is uh, one, one big problem uh, because uh, the, the key uh, to, um, to distribute the money is uh, not always um, fair to the artists, especially for new artists. Usually you have some old artists, uh, they make very popular music uh, 30, 40 years long and uh, they have a big, big part in the share of the, of the amount the um, collecting societies gain from, uh, from showing uh, this uh, uh, music or from playing this music. Uh, we, together with, uh, with a company, it's called um, Creative Commons uh, Collecting Society. It's a long name. So they shorten it to C3S. They um, want to have, um, they have uh, the vision, uh, they want to um, make a collecting society which is uh, modern, which uh, used modern technology uh, to, um, to uh, first get the money from, uh, from the uh, persons who utilize the music, and then uh, bring the money to the artists uh, which were played. And um, they uh, are starting in Germany uh, with, um, with an alternative collecting society, and they want to um, get bigger and bigger in, in the whole Europe if, uh, if it works. We, um, they made a nice video because they used Triton uh, to um, to uh, make uh, the back end for, for a system of the collecting society and um, to um, fund the investment to create such a huge uh, company uh, for um, collecting uh, fees. Uh, they uh, had to start a fundraising um, by, uh, at the European Union and they uh, collect a, a bit money and then uh, we can start with a little another topic. It is uh, very similar to the work of uh, a collecting society. You have to manage uh, artists, you have to manage works, you have to manage utilization of works, you have to manage uh, the distribution of, uh, of the uh, earned amounts, of the earned money. And uh, all this is done in a, in a prototype uh, which is um, now presented by a small video. Uh, it takes 15 minutes and Question, please, after. A few years ago, Richard Stallman, founder of the Free Software Foundation, suggested the implementation of buttons for voluntary donations into media players, so that the artists whose works were played could receive financial support. The C3S has adopted this idea and after a one year development project is now able to present a prototype. This prototype can be used as the basis for the IT infrastructure of a collecting society as well as for the voluntary donation service which we have named Adore. Adore makes it even easier to support your favorite bands. Instead of having a button that needs to be clicked, Adore remembers the songs that were played and divides up the desired monthly donation amongst all artists who have contributed to these songs. There are two fundamental differences between Adore and a donation service such as Flatter. On the one hand, there is the automatic data acquisition without the effort of clicking. On the other hand, there is the particular focus on music, enabling Adore to take even complex connections between works and creators into account for the contribution. Buskers make a living from the coins taken out of purses and thrown into their hats. With a door, music fans are now able to throw their micro-donations into the virtual hats of the artists, easily, transparently, and directly. 
In order to demonstrate what the prototype is able to do, we will now successively take the roles of a musician and a music lover. As a musician, you sign into the website. Afterwards, you come to an area where you can choose between the roles of musician and music fan. A musician can therefore be a music fan as well and vice versa. Having taken the role of musician, one can manage one's artist identities, bands, and works, observe real-time user statistics, and have the income in the hat displayed in detail, even according to the respective works that were played. The musician now wants to check the data of his or her artists. Solo artists are different identities or pseudonyms of an individual. You can appear as a solo artist or form a band as group artists. In the example, we see a solo artist who belongs to a band that consists of altogether four solo artists. The musician administers this band and now wants to register a new song. At first, the musician uploads an audio file of the piece. As metadata, the musician enters the title. As featured artist, a band name is picked. The other fields can be filled in at a later time. The next step is to enter the participants of the title. The musician was the composer. The piece was recorded by another band member. Participants can only be individuals, which means solo artists. The musician also picks the exact licensing conditions for this piece of music. It is also possible to add other songs in connection with this piece. For example, the song might be a remix of another artist's work. If the song has been covered by other artists, this information can also be added here. Adore enables the addition of an infinite number of such connections with other works. The revenues for a piece can therefore later be distributed fairly amongst all who were actually involved in its making including, for example, the original artist whose work was used in a remix. Even when a work is the adaption of an adaption, a general distribution key will enable a door to fairly distribute the money down to the first link in the adaption chain. After saving the song, the musician checks the data of the piece and waits excitedly whether someone is going to listen to it. Let us now swap to the role of the music fan who is convinced of the concept of direct support and has registered and transferred money for the monthly distribution. At the moment, the Adore prototype will only work with the music player Clementine. In order for Adore being able to remember the works, the player must be registered once in the account of the fan. This is done by opening the Adore plugin in the settings of Clementine and clicking the registration button. This will open the Adore login page and transmit a one-time random ID for the player. After signing in, this ID will be visible in the clients list. Now the fan can listen to his or her favorite songs. Our music fan loves the band from the first example and listens to the song that has just been registered. In order to enable a door to be certain that this particular song has been played, an individual fingerprint has been calculated when the musician uploaded the song. All songs have different acoustic wave properties. These differences can be exactly monitored by computers and are used to create a fingerprint that is unique for each song. Works can therefore be identified independently from their source, no matter whether the music is saved on a hard disk or streamed via a web radio. Adore already knows the fingerprint of the song. The Adore plugin in Clementine is just calculating it so that it can be transferred to the Adore server. In the console outputs, which we have made visible here for the sake of demonstration, the fingerprint now becomes visible as a long chain of symbols. 
When the song is changed, it will automatically be sent to the Adore server. The fan has listened to the song and can now check the playlist, verifying that everything has been detected correctly. At first, the musician's list is still empty. This is due to the fact that the transferred raw information about the piece must still be processed. The processing as well as the distribution of the money will later be automated. In this example, we will do it manually. For demonstrating this aspect of the prototype, we now look at the system administration display of the Adore server. The Adore system uses Triton which makes the often tedious work with data and forms as pleasant, simple, and efficient as possible. Here, all data of plugins, artists, works, utilizations, and distributions can be comprehended and processed. For example, we see that our fan has a credit balance of 100 euros and wants to distribute 10 euros per month. At the moment, the artists do not yet have any money in their accounts. We find an entrance in the raw data reception. The fingerprints that were transferred from the player and must now be allocated to the respective work. This identification, which we will now initiate manually, reflects the general, exactly allocated utilization which will be taken into account for the distribution. After the utilization has been matched with the work, the musician will know and be happy about that the song has been listened to. Billing is once a month. The settlement process distributes the money donated by the fans to the hats of the artists, according to all utilizations. All transactions are calculated and recorded in datasets, which enables the music fan as well as the musician to have transparent insight into where to and where from money has been transferred. In this example, 10 euros have been distributed from the fan. The solo artists have received payments for their contribution, such as composition and performance, which they may now get paid out via a money order from a door. A small amount of the money allocated for distribution will be given to a door, also as a transparently traceable micro donation and is used for covering the costs for servers and personnel. Having followed the money flow from payment by distribution to payout, we have reached the end of our presentation and hope that you are now just as excited about a door as we are. The prototype is the first big step. We now want to continue developing the software into a mature door system and invite you to participate in this process. According to our standards, the code has been published under a free software license. This means that everybody can download the program code via GitHub and help with the development. It would be helpful if you were familiar with Python, Pyramid, Triton, or the plugin development for music players. But you can't participate to Adore without being a programmer. For example, by providing translations into other languages. Simply introduce yourself under lists.c3s.cc on the hacking mailing list or visit us on our Jabber server, conference.jabber.c3s.cc, in the chat room, hacking. Question? We need the, the microphones. <laughs> I repeat the questions. Um, did we make the backend? Yes, we did make. Uh, we make the backend and the data data model. Most work was uh, to find a data model which uh, fits to the Adore system, 
and to uh, later to build a collecting society uh, to share the efforts. How do you collect money? How we collect Triton? Co collect the money. Uh, the money, um, this is the part uh, we do not have uh, solved yet. We need uh, some online banking uh, identification. Uh, we thought about uh, using the Triton modules, uh, especially for this, um, payment modules. But uh, we didn't uh, reach this point in the prototype uh, to, to solve this. You could use the future Stripe module. What could you use? The future Stripe module. There will be a module to collect money through Stripe, which is a well-known uh, payment provider on the internet. Okay. Cool. It's Planet. Cool. And is it already running? Uh, the prototype is uh, as shown running, uh, but uh, it have it is just cut out uh, of, of of anything. Uh, it is it's not legal to run it in. In Germany, you can't collect money with this uh, kind of uh, okay. setup, but uh, it's, it's in progress. I think uh, it will be done uh, sooner or later. The web interface you showed us, is that based on Triton? The web interface is uh, based on Pyramid. It is a kind of small framework for uh, a kind of small Python framework. Um, it is, um, we have used this. Yeah. We use uh, some uh, for for the. Uh, um, we use uh, I think uh, we use um, deform for the forms for the widgets and so on and oh. so on. It is uh, nicely abstracted. Uh, if you have uh, a project with um, with Pyramid and Triton, then uh, please tell, uh, take a look uh, into the source code because uh, there are some abstractions which are very nice, especially routing and uh, the transaction yeah. handling, which we. Uh, Copied from uh, Cedric's uh, transaction handler for um, Flask. Flask. Would you enter the artist over there? Uh, they're using the ORM of Triton. Excuse me. The ORM of Triton. What has been used for this uh, web client? So you entered. Uh, you tried to enter an artist. Sorry, I don't understand. The ORM of uh, Triton. Yeah, Did yeah. you use it? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it was not done by SQL. And, um, it was the the view for administration of uh, the system is, is completely uh, uh, solely Triton. Okay. Oh. We just uh, built uh, the web forms for uh, for the uh, as an interface for uh, artists and for users, and uh, we use uh, REST API uh, to connect to the to the media player plugin, and uh, special fingerprinting algorithm. Um, it's called Echo Nest. Uh, it is the only free uh, fingerprinting algorithm. Uh, which is working a little bit we like it it takes it needs 40 seconds of playing to uh, generate a fingerprint and 40 seconds sometimes is too long so um, there are better ones but we have to pay for them about that uh, do people can generate the fingerprint in advance and submit them uh, i don't know uh, a lot of time in order to have a lot of money can they trick can, the system uh, Yes, yes, of course. Uh, it's just an uh, REST API. You have your ID. Your ID must be secret. You must keep your ID secret because um, if anybody else has your ID, then he can play music, and it is the music is uh, is counted on your account. That means um, your budget will be um, distributed between uh, the other. But no, but we I mean, there are songs that are pretty long, like uh, I don't know, uh, Hotel California. Uh, and people might play the f one might want to submit it ten thousand times, so they don't have the time to listen to it, and so they might trick the system by submitting the the fingerprint uh, once every five seconds or something. It, uh, it is not a problem because um, you have a budget. You, you as a user pay in, uh, put uh, money in a pocket that is your account, uh, the money you put in. And then you have a budget, say uh, 10, 10 uh, euros per month you want to uh, distribute. You can uh, distribute the 10 euros uh, to one band. When you just listen one band, then everything is going there. If you listen uh, 150,000 bands, then um, 10 euro divided by 150,000 is, is distributed to the bands. So um, 
it doesn't um, rise, uh, raise uh, the amount. And what happened if I put 10 euros and I listen to uh, 100 or 1,000 so, uh, groups, different groups? So the money will be below one cent. So how do you manage that? We manage that. Um, it is actually a Triton version 3.4. Um, and uh, we managed it uh, by uh, just um, making uh, 16 uh, decimal uh, numbers after, after zero. So we can uh, distribute a very, very small amount. And, and you, you keep. And you make a, a rounding once an artist has, has enough uh, micro cent to become one cent and you put it? Uh, rounding is always uh, uh, a cut. That means uh, everything uh, under one cent is can't be paid. So uh, if it's one cent, it's then cent 25, then we can pay one cent, then it's uh, 0 0.25 cent uh, in, the pocket, in, in, the, in the account, but you can't uh, get it paid because uh, we can't pay. Uh, so the distribution is not a move line in the accounting? It's once the, the group has enough money, you make the accounting. It is a move line actually, but uh, we have not uh, solved the problem of uh, paying uh, the money to the, to the uh, customers, but uh, it is solvable. It's just a matter of time. Any questions? More questions? Uh, I was wondering about the uh, well, just what Cedric said. The thing is, if you if you if you assume people will have maybe a budget for of ten euros per month, and uh, they listen to hundreds of songs where they are uh, um, they are uh, the main artist and they, they are the composer, maybe five performers, and uh, and it was a, a remix of another song. So you have yes. extra. I think the the one cent limit will actually be very uh, frequently uh, touched. So you, you may end up with a lot of people who will not get money. So it, I think it's a little weird. The, um, I'm not sure if I don't understand you. I didn't understand your, your answer, but yes. uh, I think it's in this, uh, crucial that it works for a smaller amount. Than I understand uh, the question. Cent. And um, um, the main reason to, to build this service is uh, to um, fulfill another idea, to create a collecting society. That means um, the half of all artists in your nation uh, will, will come to them, and the other half will go to the other collecting society. That means um, there is a lot of uh, works, a lot of artists, and uh, a lot of use of artists. That means uh, any DJ uh, in, 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 in the nation uh, uh, has, has a gives the list what they played, and then uh, we can divide it, and uh, then the, the amounts are bigger for it. So um, the Adore idea, it, it, is, it is not clear if it works uh, in, 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 uh, in reality. It is a kind of flatter, if you know the service. Um, flatter is a small button on websites. You can click on flatter, and then after a month, uh, you um, can distribute an, an, an amount, a budget of money to the websites you like if you want to uh, pro promote uh, one or another author. Maybe I just time for one just question. wanted to say uh, maybe an answer to your question. Uh, if you cannot distribute it in, in one once, you, you have to collect the, the amount until there is one cent you can pay. Yep. So you should not look at the one month, so, but you should look, you, you have to collect it. Can I ask a last question? Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you think it could be extended to Triton? And where you register the modules you are using, and each month you put a budget and it's distributed to each author of each modules you are using? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> um, for the moment, it is uh, not. Uh, uh, we have not decided uh, to make it modular. The system. It is just one big uh, module where we put all the functionality inside. Because um, it is uh, such a new model. It is not a business you know. Uh, 
when I started this, uh, I don't know anything about this business. It is a very special business. Usually, you have exactly one collecting society per nation. That means in Belgium there is one, in uh, Spain there is one, in France there is one. They are monopoles. They are um, they are um, they are making uh, uh, they are <laughs> they are monopoles, and uh, they the the. Creative Commons Collecting Society tried to break this monopole and bring another alternative to the artist so that they, they can decide, I go to them or I go to them. And um, we are not, not ready uh, to make it modular because we do not know the process, how it really works, uh, because we, we, we have no, um, no image where we can take a look. Ah, yes, this is a company for services. Uh, then we have another company for services and we just uh, make it a little bit uh, different. This is com something completely different for us. So um, I'm sure we can extract uh, this, this uh, functionality. I'm really sure, yes. It's an actually a good idea. But unfortunately, we run out of time. <laughs> Do you want the speaker or the questions uh, give more time? Or are there any questions anymore? Or should we continue? Uh, with the next presentation, uh, which comes uh, from uh, Copengo. They uh, wanted to show you uh, some showcases uh, of the uh, former presentation um, of the insurance company. No questions? Good. <laughs> the video is uh, accessible.